Now we're doing the x-axis. The x-axis mounts on top of the two linear bearings that were on the y-axis. This is tricky. Uh, we had to get the y-axis as straight as possible. Then we mount this on top. We need an overhang on the edge of the x-axis to allow for the overhang from the x-axis motor as well as the y-axis acme thread. So the footprint of the linear bearings is exactly 26 millimeters by 26 millimeters. So how am I going to get it completely square and straight such that when I install and drill these, that when it moves forward and backward, it's going to be true. So if it's not true and not parallel, it will bind in various places. It's going to make the motor work harder. That's going to increase the wear on the acting threads. Here's my special tool. Pretty simple. A compass. So all you got to do is start with a quick punch, some arbitrary area. Then you take your compass, create your arc, measure to make sure the arc is the same, make another relatively arbitrary hole as long as it's on the same arc, take a quick measurement there, you got to find the hypotenuse which is 36.8 on a 26 millimeter square, then you make your hypotenuse arcs, make sure it intersects with the previous arcs you made. Punch your hole right at the intersection there, and you have a perfectly square setup. Make a quick check, drill your holes. Let's just zoom right through this here. One, two, three, and four. Now we gotta cut the aluminum X axis tube. Zoom through this real quick and take a quick look and you can see they are relatively perfect. Doing the same thing for the other bearing. Had to cut it with a rotary tool in order to expose the thread so I can get access to them. And they are perfect. Then just screw them all in. After you tighten them down, slide it back and forth just to make sure it's square, no binding. All right guys, so after working for another couple of hours, we finally got the Y-axis bearings, we got our X-axis aluminum brace. Next is going to be the X-axis linear bearing, which is right here. Same type of linear bearing that I've used before for the X, for the Y-axis, and now we'll use it for the X. Y axis completely done. Now it's time to get the X axis linear bearing drilled down. So here's the bearing. All we got to do is find our place to mount it, position, mark holes, and drill them down. Just as we did on the Y axis, we're doing on the X axis. Take that marker, mark those holes. Keep on marking them. Now punch them all and drill them all. You've got to be really careful when you're tapping into aluminum, especially since this is also O65 thickness. Just like the stain, just like the steel that we did earlier, it will have a couple of threads of grip, but the aluminum is gonna be a lot softer. It'll be really easy to tap, but it'll be really hard if you over torque that and you're gonna be able to easily strip those threads. So you gotta be super careful not to over torque it. Remember, you have about 10 bolts holding this y, this x-axis linear bearing together. So the chances of it falling out or, or, or coming loose very low, especially if you torque seal them like I plan, like I plan to do. Yes, I'm using a cutoff wheel to grind this down. Why? Instead of using a flap wheel or a grinding wheel, because I get a lot more accuracy with this, and especially since it's aluminum, I want to make sure that I don't cut too deep, so I have a lot more control. Just let's mount it and let's see what it looks like. Done.
There's a rule in the industry. If you're not wearing camo pajama pants while doing this, you're not doing it right. Don't look now, but yes, there are holes in my pajama pants from spattering while MIG welding. Hey guys, if you like the content and the video, smash that subscribe button and like, please. I always enjoy everybody's comments, no matter good or bad. Thanks for watching, guys.